Want to be super rich? You'll need to have these eight traits. Who doesn't want to be super rich? If you were to stop 10 people at random on the street and ask them if they'd like to be super rich, we'd be willing to bet that all 10 will say yes. The fact is that being super rich could be really fun. If you don't believe us, just check out the mansions that some celebrities are selling, or the fact that Steve Ballmer can pay $2 billion for a basketball team. For further proof, there's the yacht owned by David Geffen with its five floors, 82 rooms, and a basketball court. Of course, most of these people did not become super rich overnight. They worked long, hard hours, and they had these seven traits. 1. An Entrepreneurial Spirit There's an old saying that you can't get rich on someone else's paycheck, and this is basically true. Most of the super wealthy got that way by going into business for themselves. There are plenty of doctors, lawyers, and corporate executives who are in the group of $5 million plus, but those who start their own businesses tend to end up being worth even more. 2. Always on the clock People who have built successful businesses tend to view the 40-hour workweek as a sort of part-time schedule. They typically work 60 to 80-hour work weeks, and working vacations are usually the norm. 3. Very high energy If you don't have a high energy level, it's unlikely that you will ever become super rich. Most very wealthy individuals have a ton of energy, don't require much sleep, and generally have upbeat attitudes. 4. Visionaries Most of the super rich are visionaries. These are what are called force of nature people. They have the ability to look at situations and see possible futures. Once they spot a possibility, they also have an incredible ability to focus their energy and efforts on it. 5. A high level of confidence one psychologist says that most of his super-rich clients got their wealth by possessing an expansive, healthy grandiosity. This means they have a sense that they can do anything. These people are also open to creative ways to achieve their goals. They have a great deal of confidence in themselves and others and totally believe that the world will accommodate their business ideas. Also, some of the very wealthiest have what's called a narcissistic personality disorder. In other words, they think they're very special, require a lot of admiration have a high sense of entitlement, and don't have much empathy for others. 6. Discriminating Many of the super-rich understand that they are not the smartest person in the room on every possible issue. However, they know to surround themselves with people who are and who will help them realize their vision. Here's an interesting fact. Those who do best are those that move past sole proprietorships and partner with others to expand their companies. 7. Modest Despite what you might see in movies or on television, most multimillionaires actually live very modestly. Some of the very richest have chosen not to increase their lifestyles and lockstep with their growing wealth. Some even continue wearing old plaid shirts, or at least the men do. 8. Tolerant of Risk If you start your own business, by the very nature of things, you will need to be a risk taker. However, there's no need to be an investing gambler. Most of the super-rich have short-term investments, but a longer time horizon than other investors. Like Warren Buffett, they will invest in a stock or companies, then stick with it as long as it makes sense to them. However, they won't go all in on one bet. Of course, there's always the one person who bets it all on something, gets lucky, and then gets out. However, this is not the recipe that works for most people. Get started on the road to being super-rich. As noted above, if your true goal is to become super rich, your best bet is to start your own company. Of course, there's a negative to this, and that's the fact that in most cases, you won't have money to start that venture. As many people have discovered, you can have the greatest idea in the world since the internet, but if you don't have the money to put it into effect, you're doomed to failure. The good news is that there is now a way to raise money to fund your amazing idea. It's called crowdfunding. What is crowdfunding? This is where you collect money from backers, that's the crowd, to fund your initiative. This is usually done on an internet platform. Your initiative could be anything from a nonprofit to fund schools or emergency funds for an ill person to creating and selling a new product. It could even be for financing your startup company. As you might guess, crowdfunding models require a number of participants. This includes the people such as yourself that propose the idea or project to be funded and then the crowd of people who support your proposal. 450 Platforms As of two years ago, there were more than 450 crowdfunding platforms. Of course, if you have a project you want to crowdfund, you will need to do your own due diligence in order to determine which platform would be best for you depending on your project. This is because there are some important differences in the services provided by the different crowdfunding platforms. As an example of this, Crowdcube and Cedars are both designed to help small companies issue shares over the internet and then receive small investments from registered users in return. 
However, there is even a difference between these two, as Crowdcube is meant for users to invest small amounts and then acquire shares directly in startup companies. On the other hand, Cedars pools funds to invest in new businesses as what's called a nominated agent. Other platforms such as Celeband and Kickstarter replace traditional intermediaries such as venture capitalists. They link project initiators, designers, and new artists with committed supporters who believe strongly in the persons behind the projects and provide monetary support. Recent Kickstarter Projects As an example of projects that were successfully launched on Kickstarter, there was the Pebble e-paper watch for Android and the iPhone. The total amount pledged by supporters of this project was $10,845. A total of $8,596,474 was pledged in a Kickstarter campaign in support of Ouya, a new type of game console. A role-playing game titled Project Eternity raised $3,986,929, and Form 1, an affordable professional 3D printer, garnered $2,945,885 in crowdfunding. As you can see from these examples, the initiatives that do best on Kickstarter tend to be those in the technology sector. But don't despair if your idea does not fit in this category. The movie Gosnell was crowdfunded on the platform Indiegogo, as was Canary Home Security and the health scanner Scanadu Scout. The movie Road Hard was crowdfunded on the platform Fund Anything, and the Tesla Museum found its crowdfunds on Indiegogo. But the net net of this is if you have a brilliant idea and the ability to sell it to others, you could get crowdfunding, turn your dream into a reality, and be well on your way towards becoming super rich. If you need help with credit card debt, National Debt Relief offers a free debt consultation to help with credit card problems. Call 888-866-0778 or visit nationaldebtrelief.com today.